All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Mafia 2. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I think we're on a uh, on a track to finish the game probably today, so we're going to see what we can do about that and see how it goes. Okay. Wait, no, don't want this car. It's wanted. Can I, uh, oh no, oh no, god damn it. Oh, come on. Use extreme caution. Use of automatic weapons is authorized. Oh no, oh no. Oh no indeed. Big ass no no. We're gonna get out of sight. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, ah, medium damn. build. Roger that. It's okay. We're good. Should get away from him in a second. <clears throat> you know, until I crash into something. Ah, shit. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. They're just shooting at nothing cuz I know I'm not I'm not in range. Oh, oh, oh great. Two cars. Two pl three police cars. straight up fucking die. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I almost lost him. Okay, that's lovely. Police shouldn't have automatic weapons. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Dead. I'm, I, yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no. I see a police car. It's literally right there. That's how they caught me so fast. Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. Drive on past, drive on past, drive on past, drive on past. Wait, 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 wait come stop. on. Stop. Get out of the car. Get out the car. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Be caught. Or at least not as quickly. Okay, 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 I get it. No, no, move, thank you. Oh shit. They only they only suspected for just a second.
Okay. Think we're going to go see Derek? Yeah. Like we might have started this mission a little bit the last time and we uh, had to stop. But it's okay. Derek always does us good, gives us money. getting off the freeway so we're good oh no 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 you bastard don't you dare cross lanes into me Thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that deadbeat you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. So you win? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. All right, stand behind him and look tough. I can do that. I mean, anybody with a gun pointed at him looks tough. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. I know how many of them there is. Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to him? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how Stunajis are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you. Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck. And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like he did, John. your voice now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking deadbeat. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. You don't want no trouble. Don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. 
Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't you? Why, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the were things. Were you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut, Vito. You swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Oh, shit. Okay. Siege at the docks begins. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. How All you right. doing, Obsidian? Follow me, guys. This is crazy. So you shouldn't be doing let's this. Go. Go. Oh. Ah, shit. Dead. Dead. I never trusted you from the moment I shot you. Come on, Steve. I got some lead with your name on it, buddy. Okay, uh head jump. Oh no. There we go. There we go. Two, shit. Two. <clears throat> really took a heart, a heart, straight to the chest. Oh my god, it's such a good series. I can all, I can only like willingly play one and two though. Three makes me mad. Where'd he go? Did he run? There you are. Come here, Steve. Come here, Stevie boy. Stevie Wonder. Oh no, it's not because of the quality of the game that three makes me mad. It's um I'm an American black man. And so is Lincoln Clay. So I hear a lot of things I'd, I I'm, I just don't want to sit and listen to. And it makes me irrationally mad at white people. And I don't want to be irrationally mad at anybody. If, if you catch my drift. Yeah, most people don't. And it's like... It's, it's like I can play it and be just fine. Just when the cutscenes start, I get real, real pissed. You're gonna die here, Vito. Just like <laughs> And I, it's like, it's like, I'm perfectly aware it's fiction. I don't have a problem distinguishing. Just it, it gets to me sometimes. What are you thinking, Vito? You think you could be fucking do something like this and walk away? You got me fucked! Wait, somebody over here? Somebody's over this way. You miss your 
your old man, Fido. Don't worry. I'll see him soon. There we go. I have one grenade. When we done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the rats. Ah, uh, shit. Fido, you're making the biggest mistake in your life. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. I shot him in the neck. How is he still alive? Like father, like son, Fido. <clears throat> okay. You miss your old man, Fido? Don't worry. You can gonna go see him soon. Where is he? There you are, you fat fuck. When we're done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the rats. Damn it! It's just yeah. it's, it's like... Edo, you're making that mistake. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. We could still work this out, Vito. Where you at, Derek? You're gonna die here, Fido. Just like your father. Oh, really? The fire finally got me. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow me, guys. This is crazy. Some extra firepower. We shouldn't be doing this. He's open to handle himself. I mean, yeah, but you know, remember, all black people are not the same. And it's not like I didn't enjoy playing the game. I never trusted you from the moment I saw you. Also, it was really fun when I got to the clan segment and just got to murder a bunch of the clan. It seems like games that came out around that time had a real fun time. <laughs> I forget, did Red Dead come out at the same year? I forget when, um, when Mafia 3 came out. Because if it came out the same time, I think a bunch of game studios were just like, hey, let's put the clan in here to kill them. I don't know if it was a marketing tactic or what. But it seemed fairly common. There we go. Steve is dead. You don't know nothing about Red Dead. It's a good game. Red Dead 2. I haven't played one, though. Why are you stealing your neighbor's packages? <laughs> huh, okay, so nobody's here to shoot me? I'm going to feed you to the rats. I forgot how much I hated this part. Vito, you're making the biggest mistake in your life. Yeah! Vito, you're making 
making the biggest mistake in your life. No, 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 no. Quick, 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 Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. The All odds right. may be even, Follow but I keep me, running guys. out of arrows of every firefight. He doesn't handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. Shot him in the nuts. Gotta heal, gotta heal. Let me uh, grab some ammo. I guess I didn't pick up anything. Death also helped me resolve another problem. Oh no! clear. <sighs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Twenty two grand. Okay. Let's get out of here. Hey, Vito. We can take things from here. 
What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem. But anyone who saw will swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck, then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. God help you all. Rob shops or bring cars to... Okay, how much money do I need? Because I got like 25 grand right now. That's the wrong button. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Why is everyone not? Everyone is dead. You're a little late. Or maybe you popped in like right as the shootout was ending. Either way, people are dead. <sighs> ah, son of a bitch, really? Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. <sighs> no, go away. I'm not gonna go around killing random NPCs. This is not how this works. That was clearly an accident. Seven. Okay. Oh, I'm almost there. That's right for the uh, for the um for the dead. You watched it happen. How dare you accuse me of something? I am a pure. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even get through that. I, I am a pure and decent man. I have the soul of an angel. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight fucking face. <coughs> what the fuck? Move, you bit. Really? You're gonna get out oh, now? Oh, you hit my car! Hey, look, I have not lied a day in my life. Nor do I bully anyone. I wonder what would happen if I tried to rob the gun store. Would they shoot me? That's not a lie if I'm clearly joking. this gives me. Probably not much. Four twenty 
31. Not bad. Six. Okay, so depending on how much this is, it might actually do a similar. Okay, so maybe one or two cars is what we need, one or two more. Not a single car parked over here, lovely. Oh great, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Go fuck off, fuck off, go away, thank you. Where did... Excuse me, sir and or madam. I require your motorized oh, no, vehicle. Come on, have a heart. Ugh. Where are they coming from? Oh my god. Copy that. Don't worry, this car is about to be smashed up. And if it serves, I can just take the cop car instead. vehicle is wanted. Lovely. Alright, fine. We're gonna crush it up and get, just go steal another one. Give me some extra money. I am not an egg, you whore. Go see Joe. Cool. house isn't too far from here, so we should be all right. That's a wrong turn. But this works. Suspect is about really? How? How? How could you tell? Copy that.
Okay, let's go tell Joe we got the money. What the fuck? Oh, why? Oh, that's right, because the police detected me. That's why the cars were. Hey, Joey boy. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. I don't know. We'll see. See if Eddie knows where Joe is. All right, it seems like we're driving over there, so I can just grab a car. Where's that red one? I'm surprised the video doesn't have a key to the apartment by now. But, let's just drive over and check. Since we can't just use a payphone. Here we go. Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. Well, why? So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dub with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe's with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Well, shit. Okay. Next. He keeps his ear to the ground. 
Let's see if we can still find him. Nobody seems to know where he's at. The game is called Mafia, so I gotta be doing some sort of crime. But I haven't done anything illegal thus far, just talk to somebody. Maybe steal a few cars. What people? What are you talking about? I have done no such thing and I will not stand for these baseless accusations. Giuseppe! Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbro. Was he here today? Hello, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he knew himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? I'm not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Hey, Vito said the line, the famous line, the meme line. Good afternoon, nice to see you. Anything you like, you let me know. Here you go. Use it in good health. Okay. Here you go. Buona fortuna. Okay, that's enough money spent. I don't have to tell you to be careful. But be careful. Where are we headed? Okay. Not poor, just need the need the money to pay for something. called priorities. and maybe I won't kill you. Hi, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you, too. Don't move a muscle. Come on. Listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry. It's got a hell of a view. Shit. Ah. Uh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. 
Great. Well, can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I wanna hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem, because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally, we don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right, we'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Calm the fuck down. Let's try to sneak our way through. The fuck was that noise? Uh, okay. I think that was meant for him to go over there, but okay. <laughs> Firefight and a half. Let's see if the other guy up here has a. Uh... Oh, he does have a heavier weapon. So I thought. No, he doesn't. Okay, so that was a waste. Screw it. Come here, come here, come here, come here. There we go. Take a nap, take a nap. Turn in a moment or two. We're gonna fight our way out of here because it's gonna have to be that way. Because I only got a um, a fucking revolver and there's like five of them down at the foot of the stairs. So I'll be back in a moment. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Trip Twitch if you haven't. Like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I'll be back in a moment.